hello everyone welcome back to my channel today we are doing uh, october 2015 paper 1 of cambridge secondary 1 checkpoint uh, so this is paper 1 we cannot use calculator in this paper so you all know the instructions um, the other uh, additional material required is uh, geometrical instruments and, and tracing paper so these are the instructions here you can take screenshot and go through this afterwards before we start i would like you guys to thank you for your support and thank you for subscribing the channel and those who are new to the channel please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and let me know if you uh, want to do any particular paper so i will do for you guys so let's get started question one uh, the timetable shows the times of five buses you can see uh, these are the stations and these are the buses here uh, write down the time when the second of these buses leaves newton right so we have underlined the keywords we need to know the time for the second bus so this is first bus second third fourth and fifth right so we are looking for the second bus so this is the second bus here leaves newton newton is here so this was is here this is the time so this is our answer 1641 right now part b carl arrives at bus stop in arden at 1655 work out how long he waits for the next bus so arden is here and he arrives this station at 1655 so 1655 you see there is no bus at 1655 so that means he arrives here this is the time that he arrived uh, uh, sorry no, this is 1651 is the bus so he is here 1655 is somewhere here right after 1651 so he have to catch this bus so that means how much is the time there so we are looking for the time period from 1655 to 17 14 right 1655 so we can make uh, sections of this 1655 up to 17 this is five minutes here right so five minutes plus then you have this is five minute and this is 14 minutes right so five plus 14 it is 19 minutes right so our final answer is 19 minutes okay so that was first question and part uh, sorry number two and jeremy has six number cards you can see number cards here which two of jeremy's numbers are prime numbers so now first of all you need to know what are the prime numbers so prime numbers are the numbers uh, which have have only two factors uh, only two factors number itself and the another one and so let's see one by one so 49 49 is 7 times 7 so there is another factor of that so this is not the answer so this 5 plus 1 6 6 it is divisible by 3 so this is also not number uh, 53 now 53 can be written only one time 53 there is no other factor for that so it has two numbers which are the two only two factors so one number will be 53 right so 55 it's easy so it's one times 55 uh, sorry five times 55 so that means sorry what i'm doing uh, five times 11 is 55 so that means there are other factors rather than one and 55 so this is not a prime number and then 57 uh, 7 plus 1 uh, 5 is 12 so this is divisible by uh, 3 so 3 times 19 so there are other two factors present so this is also not a prime number now we are left with 59 and 59 is a number that can be only written as 1 times 59 right so 59 will be the second prime number right now explain why 51 is not a prime number we have already done here 51 so 51 is divisible by 3 so we can write down that um, because 51 is divisible by 
3 also. So it has more factors than 1. That means there is 1, 3, 51 and 17. They are the factors of this. So that's why it is not uh, divisible by uh, it is not a prime number right so now question number three part a uh, po uh, plot points a b and c here on the grid so let's see one by one a is three and negative one so first number is always for x second for y first x and y so x is three y negative one x three y negative 1 so we have this number uh, point here right then 3 and 3 that means x3 and y3 so we have this number on uh, this point here the other one is c negative 4 I'm sorry x negative 4 and y2 x negative 4 and y2 will go along this way so this one so this first part is done so we have nothing to do uh, nothing else to do here just need to plot the points right now next one is ABCD is a parallelogram uh, write down the coordinates of point D so we have plotted three points here so let me just join them so it will be easy to observe them so if we join it here you know that parallelogram is a shape having uh, opposite side parallel to each other and equal to each other now if you see this is how many squares here one like one two three and four so that means so we can go four up or we can go four down so let me go down one two three and four so that means d point will be here four from this side four from this side so let's see so if you join this one so you can see this is a parallelogram right but our question is not to draw the parallelogram our question is write down the coordinates of point d so let's see what are the coordinates of d so x is 4 and going down here negative 2 so x negative 4 and y negative 2 so answer is x negative 4 and y negative 2 right i hope you understood so let's move to next one question number four put a ring around all the fractions that are equivalent to 35 uh, 0.35 sorry uh, so let's see we can go do one by one uh, so th 0 0.35 can be written as 35 over 100 right because there is one uh, decimal here and there are two digits so it will be 100 so one you can easily see we have 35 over 100 here right so this can be simplified right uh, because both are divisible by 5 5 times 7 and 5 times 2 then we have 7 over 20 right so now this cannot be further simplified so we have only these two numbers which are uh, fractions which are equivalent to that one right now number 5 the diagram shows the sketch of a triangle so we are given angle and then we are given this these two sides here draw this triangle accurately in the space below we have to draw this triangle here so you can see we are given one side here which is 6.5 right so another one uh, this 6.5 baseline is already there so we need to draw angle of 34 and 7.2 centimeter on this edge left hand edge so first we are going to make uh, 6 point uh, 34 angle of 34 so this is our point here so you can it should overlap that line so 34 now see there are two readings here so you have to go the upper one why because you see 0 starts from here 0 10 20 30 and 34 is here right so then you can draw a line a bigger line here joining this point uh, like this Okay. so this angle you should always label at the same time when we draw this is 34 now 7.2 this side 7.2 so we will cut from here 7.2 is here so this much open your compass so 7.2 and then draw an arc like this so this our side is 7.2 centimeter now we got this corner and just join this corner here to make 
this strong see so it's done so you need not to rub these lines so these construction lines are always needed there okay so let's move to next question here number six work out 18.6 times 7 18.6 times 7 uh, so we can just multiply first without decimal 18 points 18 186 times 6 uh, this will be 6 times 7 it is 42 so 2 will go here and 4 goes up uh, 8 times 7 is 56 56 plus 4 this is 60 so 0 comes here and then 6 will go up 7 times 1 7 7 plus 6 is 13 okay so now we have this 1302 but there is one decimal place so we are going to put one decimal here so our answer is 130.2 okay now part b work out uh, this one give your answer as a mixed number so we have to divide this is 177 divided by 20 so 20 times 6 is uh, 120 20 sorry 20 times 6 is 120 20 times 7 is 140 20 times 8 20 times 8 is 160 so we can write down this 20 times 8 so this will be 8 here 160 so remainder is 17 so always make sure that your remainder should be less than the divisor right so how we can write down this 177 divided by 20 so it should go this way always clockwise so 20 remains down here first 8 will come here and remainder always goes up so this is your answer 8 17 over 20 right now number 5 uh, sorry number 7 Sarah draws a pie chart to show the time she spends on different activities one day here is this time uh, here is the table she uses right we have this table complete the table now see our activity hours pie chart angle so pie chart angle will be according to the activities in you know, the number of hours so that means this will be uh, having the same it will be directly proportional like if you see from here 2 times 2 times 15 gives you 30 right so same will happen in others so we can directly write on 5 5 times here you are going to write on 5 times 15 which is 75 so this will become 75 1 times 15 will be 15 so now here it is 60 so because we are given the angle now and but we are looking for the number of hours so we are just going to divide so 60 divided by 15 is right so that's it for this question let's move to the next one question number eight draw a line to the match and to match each calculation in the answer so we have calculations this side and we have answers on this side let's see uh, this is 0 0.7 can be written as 7 over 10 times 10 so when you cancel this so